Hi again, everybody. Chris Tisdell here. Thank you for joining me. In this presentation, I'm going to continue my series of videos on geometry and geometric construction using a circle arc template, which you can see behind me, and a straight edge. Now, the idea of the circle arc template is to have a tool that is easier to use than a compass, produces more accurate drawings than a compass, and is less dangerous than a compass. So um, I've been making these videos to show you how you can do the um, constructions that you see in high school geometry just using this circle arc template. So let me share my screen with you, and I'll show you a, a particular example of, of how you can use it. All right, so um, the tool is here. This, this is a printed version. In the background, I've got an unprinted or naked version. And the, this is called a circle arc template. You can position the center point um, on, a, on any point you like, and you've got a straight edge. Now, um, like I said, we've got markings on this one, but strictly speaking, it's not necessary. And these two smaller tools are part of a larger, more sophisticated tool called a mathemat. And there's lots of interesting shapes and markings in here. But for our purposes, these are the only two things that we'll be um, looking at. So what uh, problem are we going to look at today? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's have a look at this diagram here. We've got a line segment from A to B and a given point C. And the challenge is to construct a line segment that has the same length as AB and it emanates or begins at the point C. Now, this is one of the very earliest constructions you see in Euclid's elements. And as a result, it's thousands of years old. Um, Euclid does this uh, a different way to what I'll be showing you. Um, but remember, in the previous videos, we looked at how you can produce parallel a parallel line through a point to another line. And so we're going to use that essentially here um, rather than what the traditional Euclidean approach is in the elements. All right. So, so how do we do it? Well, the strategy is to basically construct a line from or through C parallel to AB, join up C and A, and then construct another parallel line that's parallel to CA and passes through B. That way we get a parallelogram and you know the opposite sides in a parallelogram are of equal length. So let me get started. Um, uh, maybe, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do the construction first and then I'll, I'll write some notes. Okay, so um, let's firstly First thing I'm going to do is actually extend this line segment AB. That's just going to help me a bit later. All right. And I'm going to join A with C. Okay. So you can kind of see this is half our parallelogram, and I just need the other um, half, so to speak. So how do I do that? Well, let's firstly um, construct a line through B that's parallel to CA. So um, if you haven't seen my video on this, that's fine. You can probably still follow along just using um, this uh, video here, but um, it would be helpful if you could look that up. Maybe I'll put a, a link in the description. So I'm going to center the circle arc at B, and it's going to cut this extended um, ray, if you like, AC here. So I've got a new point. Let's call that, um, what are we up to, D. And I'm going to draw a line segment through B and C, uh, uh, D, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to continue that along. 
and then I'm going to place the line segment at my new point D, the, the circle arc template at my new point D and center it there. And I'm going to make another mark. So another point there, say E, and then I'll come back onto this ray AC. So um, let's put that in there. I can put the center point on E and I'm going to cut my green ray again. So let's call this um, F and then I will draw another line here. And last one, I'll get down to the center point of the arc on, on F. And this is my last point here. So that will be G. Now I'm going to join B with G and that's going to give me a line that is parallel to AC. Okay. So let me do that in green because that's going to be the third side, if you like, of our parallelogram. Okay, so you can see here, the two green lines are parallel. Okay, um, and the last line or, or um, uh, construction we want to do is to construct a line through C that is parallel to line A or the, the segment AB. All right, so let's, let's do that. We're just going to repeat the process of that one, but in a slightly different direction. So let me put the center point on uh, C, and then I'm going to cut the extended line AB down there. So let's call that um, H. And I'm going to do exactly what I did before. I'm going to draw an extended line through there. And now with that new point, H, I can put my circle arc template, the center point there, and then draw a new point of intersection. Let's call that I. And then I wanna get back to the green line again. So use that again. Get back here and connect. Let's call that um, J. And connect this with an extended segment there. And the last one, center at the new point J. It's going to cut there. And the last thing I'm going to do is connect I with. C. So let's do that in green. So I'm going to use my straight edge. Um, okay, so now you can see the line segment CI is parallel to AB. All right. Now we've also got, if you look carefully, our final point of intersection right here. Let's call that, um, oh, hang on, H, I, J, oh, that should be K, sorry. Let me fix that up. Don't know my alphabet, H, I, J, K, and call this point L. All right, so, you can see that these two lines are parallel. These two lines are parallel, okay? So in this um, quadrilateral ACLB, we must have two pairs of parallel sides, okay? So that means it must be a parallelogram and um, that, um, uh, that's, that's true, um, the sides will be, the opposite sides will also be equal. 
Okay, so AC, the length of AC will be equal to the length of uh, CL. Okay, so let's just write that down. So ACLB forms a parallelogram and hence this length equals this length, okay? So that's pretty much what, that, that's what we wanted to show. All right, so what, what was the actual challenge there then? Well, the, the challenge was to construct a line segment from a given point equal to a given line segment. And I mean the length there, right? Okay. So let me just highlight that. And like I said, this is one of the earliest constructions that you see in Euclid's elements. And it's literally thousands of years old. Okay. So just back to the, the um, problem again. So these opposite sides are parallel. How do you know that they're actually equal in length? Well, I'm glad you asked. I won't do it here, but um, what you can do is use the idea of congruent triangles to show this, right? So if I draw a um, this parallel line segment in AL, well, if I can show this triangle, say ABL is congruent to the triangle LCA, then all the corresponding lengths are equal. So that length has to equal that length. And that's pretty easy to do because I know that those angles are equal. Those angles are equal, right? Um, they're just... Um, uh, alternate angles, right? And the two triangles have this common side. So by um, um, angle side angle, this triangle and this triangle must be uh, congruent, okay? All right, well, what do you think? You can see the the actual drawing is quite precise. You know, the, the parallel lines really look parallel. Um, the parallelogram really looks like a parallelogram. And one reason um, for that is the precision um, that this circle arc template uh, provides. Now, we all know the stories with compasses. They, um, you know, they, they, they don't close up circles properly. They slip on the page. Uh, they're difficult to use. So... What's your experience been like with compasses? Um, I'd love to know. Thanks for watching. In the next series, uh, ne next video, I'm going to continue with some more um, constructions. I'll probably construct uh, route two and route three and things like that. So I hope you can join me. Um, all the best. See you later. Bye.